Time right now is 633. New this morning, fallout from the state's budget crisis extends to the county courthouse. Two Works for You anchor Max Resnick is live to explain how the jury trials are being affected and why there may be a light at the end of the tunnel. Max. Dan tonight, good morning. The state's $1.3 billion budget shortfall meant the cancellation of the last week of jury trials here at the Tulsa County Courthouse and next year's projections didn't look much better. Now among those two weeks of jury trials of the 20 for next fiscal year, one in April and one in June, they had to be canceled and it boils down to pay for jurors. Jurors on average get $40 a day for their work in determining guilt or innocence. That breaks down to 20 bucks a day as payment, plus another about $20 for mileage. First Assistant District Attorney John David Luton says this one issue could further back up an already jammed court system. You have uh, defendants that are uh, in jail uh, awaiting trial. You have some out of custody uh, defendants awaiting trial. Uh, there are potential uh, speedy trial issues. Luton says those speedy trial issues could lead defense attorneys to file motions claiming their defendants Sixth Amendment right has been violated. That's the right to a fair and speedy trial, which could present even more issues in the court system. Now there is potentially good news this morning. We spoke with the court administrator yesterday and Vicki Cox tells us that next year's budget projections are actually higher than the standstill budget that they were originally presented. So it is possible those two canceled weeks, one in April and one in June, could be reinstated. Live downtown, Max Resnick, two works for you.